find the equivalent weight of H2SO4, HCl, NaOH and Na2CO3. In this video, we are going to calculate equivalent weight for acids, then bases and for salts. Okay. So, for that first, let's see what is equivalent weight. Equivalent weight is defined as the ratio of molecular weight to its valence. That is equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by valence. Okay. Then you should know why you have to calculate equivalent weight of the compound. Okay. We know that why we are calculating molecular weight. So, molecular weight gives us the mass of the molecule. Then what is equivalent weight? Okay. Why we have to calculate equivalent weight? So, the answer is the equivalent weight measures the reactive capacity, okay, the reactive capacity of the molecule, okay. So, let us see how to calculate equivalent weight for acids, okay. So, first problem is H2SO4 sulfuric acid. To find out the equivalent weight of your compound, just follow two steps, okay. First, calculate the molecular weight of the compound, then calculate valence, okay. So, to calculate the molecular weight, first you just write the number of atoms present in the molecule. So, H2SO4 has 2 hydrogen, 1 sulfur and 4 oxygen, okay. So, 2 into atomic weight, atomic weight of hydrogen is 1. Then 1 into sulfur atomic weight is 32. Then 4 into atomic weight of oxygen is 16. So we get 1, 2 is 2, 32, 4 16s are 64. Then you have to just sum up all the atomic weights of your atoms present in the molecule. So if you sum up this, you will get 98. Okay, this is the molecular weight of H2SO4. Okay. Next, you have to calculate the valence. When you dissolve H2SO4 in water, it dissociates into 2H plus and SO4 2 minus. So, the valence of H2SO4 is 2. Why? Because one molecule of H2SO4 gives 2H plus ions. So, valence is 2. Okay. So, for acids, you have to see number of H plus ions and for bases you have to see number of OH minus ions. Okay. So, equivalent weight for H2SO4 is molecular weight of H2SO4 divided by valence of H2SO4. So, molecular weight of H2SO4 is 98 then valence of H2SO4 is 2. Okay. So, 98 divided by 2 is equal to 49. So, 49 is the equivalent weight of H2SO4, okay. So, what it means out of 98 grams of H2SO4, only 49 gram is ready to react. So, it is the reactive capacity of the one molecule of H2SO4, okay. Okay, next let us see for HCl, okay. So, first step you have to calculate molecular weight of HCl. So, first write the number of atoms present in the molecule HCl. So, it has 1 hydrogen then 1 chlorine. Okay. So, 1 into atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 and 1 into chlorine 35.5. So, 1 35.5 so will get if you sum up you will get 36.5. Okay. Next, you have to find out the valence of HCl. Okay. So, when you dissolve HCl that is hydrochloric acid in water, it dissociates into H plus plus Cl minus ions. So, one molecule of HCl gives one atom of H plus ion. So, the balance of HCl is 1. Okay. So, it gives 1 H plus. So, balance is 1. So, equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by valence. So, molecular weight of HCl is 36.5 and valence of HCl is 1. So, equivalent weight is 36.5. Okay, next, let us calculate equivalent weight for bases. So, the example is NaOH sodium hydroxide. Okay, so first write molecular weight of NaOH. So, first write the number of atoms present in the molecule. So, it has 1 Na, then 1 oxygen then 1 hydrogen okay so 1 into atomic weight of Na is 23 then 1 into for oxygen it is 16 and hydrogen 
1. So, 23, 1 into 16, 16, and tons are 1. So, you will get, if you sum up the atomic weights, you will get 40. Okay. So, this is the molecular weight of NaOH. Okay. Next, find out the balance. So, when you dissolve NaOH in water, it dissociates into Na plus ions plus OH minus ions. So, one molecule of NaOH gives one atom of OH minus ions. So, the valence of NaOH is 1. Okay. Gives only 1 OH minus ion. So, valence is 1. Okay. So, equivalent weight of NaOH is molecular weight of NaOH divided by valence of NaOH. So, molecular weight of NaOH is 40. Then, valence of NaOH is 1. So, equivalent weight is equal to 40. Okay, next let's see how to find out equivalent weight for salts. So, example sodium carbonate Na2CO3. So, first calculate the molecular weight of the compound. So, let's write the number of atoms present in the molecule Na2CO3. So, it has 2 Na, then 1 carbon and 3 oxygen. Okay, so 2 into atomic weight of Na is 23, then 1 into 12, 3 into 16 okay so 223 is or 46 112 so 12 3 16 or 48 okay so if you sum up all the atomic weights of the molecule you will get 1 or 6 okay next we will say how to find out the valence of Na2CO3 okay so the molecule Na2CO3 dissociates into 2 Na plus plus CO3 2 minus ions. See that is no H plus ions or OH minus ions. Okay. We know that positive ions are known as cations and negative ions are known as anions. Okay. So for salts we have to count the number of positive or negative charge on cations or anion part of the molecule okay so here number of cations is 2 na plus so cation is 2 so anions also it will be same 2 okay okay so you have to see how many number of cations or anions okay so the balance of na2co3 is so number of ions is 2 balance is 2 so your equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight of Na2CO3 divided by valence of your Na2CO3. Okay, so molecular weight of Na2CO3 is 106 and valence of Na2CO3 is 2. Okay, so the answer is 53. Okay, so to calculate valence of acids, we have to see number of hydrogen ions. Okay, hydrogen ions in the dissociation reaction. And for bases, you have to see number of OH minus ions in the reaction. Okay, then for salts, you have to see number of positive or negative charge on cation or anionic part of the molecule. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Please do subscribe and share my videos. Thank you.